Hello, this is Tyler and Eric here again. We're going to do a quick talk about what the kind of stuff we take for supplements. Um, basically, we're going to do a... I take apple cider vinegar and greens. Um, we're going to do a separate video on them another day, but because we got so much to cover and so little time to do it. But uh, basically what I do is I take a BCA... Or no, this is a pre-workout. And this has BCAs in it, though. That's why I take it. Usually, I don't take pre-workouts unless they have a BCA in it. This is a pretty good BCA that I take right here. Uh, it's all day May uh, muscle feeders, 10-1-1 uh, ratio. Um, it has joint support in it too, so that's why I like it. But it does have um, artificial flavors. I got some shitty stuff, and I'm trying to get better at it. But this is another kind of pre-workout. It's called a sleep buster. Um, I really like it. It, I love the way I feel after I take it. I just feel so. I my first set, I could get swole like on my first first set, and just feel that pump coming already. And then I take a weight gainer protein. I usually do. Um, I usually do uh, two scoops on the days that I lift, and one scoop on the day that I lift, and or no, two scoop two scoops on the days that I lift, and one scoop on the days that I don't lift. Um, for my weight gainer protein, um, it calls for like four scoops of protein, but there's no way anyone really needs all that protein because usually when they do that, they want you to go through it faster so they can sell you more. Yeah, yeah. That, and plus, I eat right, so that this is just a backup. So I shouldn't really need four scoops. No one should need four scoops. But um, yeah, creatine. I usually don't take a take a whole lot of that. Um, usually when I do take my creatine, it's when I run out on my BCAs or I run out on, on my pre-workout or so. Well, usually I don't even take pre-workout, but creatine, it's not really needed either because you have it in your protein usually. There are, it's a, they usually add it in there, especially the weight gainer proteins. They have BCAs in there as well, but I just, I'm a big guy on BCAs. I love BCAs and amino acids. They help you out a lot. Um. Joint support, that's another one that I take, and I love it. Um, he got me on it. But what I've really been getting into is my greens and my apple cider vinegar, but we're going to save that for another day so he could talk about some of his stuff, and then we could both talk about this another yeah, day. These are like our top things right here. That's the best At the stuff. moment in our lives right now. It's like so. secret weapons. Yeah. So. so what I got here, a few more things than him, a little bit different. Some's the same, though. Okay, so before I start, this is what I take in the morning. This is what I take in the evening right here. So these get hit both times. So in the morning, I got potassium that just prevents with cramps if you have any issues with that. I get them in my legs sometimes. One a day, multivitamin that helps with your joints and a bunch of other stuff. That's what I notice the biggest difference on. Good for anybody. Kelp, that's your uh, seaweed, good source of iodine, which boosts your thyroid metabolism, helps you stay leaner a little bit easier. Um, okay, your salmon oil, that's your omega-3s, the best omega-3s you can possibly get. Uh, better than your standard fish oil. Um, there's only one kind of salmon oil you can get, there's not a million different choices. Uh, Triflex, that's for your joints as well. Um, that's one thing that will catch up to you if you don't take care of them already. If you're lifting heavy or a lot of reps or anything in general, if you're active, your joints will take, take a beating if you don't take care of it. So that's a good lubricant for that glucose meat. Okay, so these take in the morning and at night. So dandelion root, that's a good like a detox cleanse type thing. Comes in a capsule. Um, it's good for, uh, I started taking it because it's supposed to help uh, to get rid of your toxins that cause cancer and magnesium citrate that's it's a I don't know what all it does but I take it because it's a natural muscle relaxer um, everything I take is natural um, also arginine I don't take it all the time when I remember to though that uh, opens up your blood vessels helps uh, increase blood flow kind of what this pre-workout does mm -hmm. From C.T. Fletcher, it's so, called uh, Fruit Fucking Punch. Also, so. if you see if you see Agmatine out there, that's a byproduct of arginine. It does pretty much the same thing. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I tried reading it, but couldn't find much. Uh, branched chain amino acids. That's what everybody everybody should take. 
Um, love my brand Shane and you're active in anything it doesn't matter if you're, you're training or lifting or anything that's just helps with muscle recovery and repair and uh i'd like to add preserves. something too actually what um my bcas what i've found out um taking them in the mornings after you lift and during your workouts is like probably the best time to take bcas mm -hmm. Especially like in the mornings, right when you wake up, because your body's still in that recovering stage. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, those might be the best times. There's not really any bad time to take. Oh, it. you can take them anytime. You can't but overdose or anything like that. On BCAs. We'll never say never. I I wouldn't drink that whole bottle right now. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, but you know what I mean, so yeah, aminos take all the time. So. Okay, greens. Yeah, like you said, we'll talk about this in another video. I just started mine. I'm on day three. Um, it's just one scoop a day. It's nothing major. Yeah. Um, my protein, it is flavored, but it is naturally uh, sweetened. So it's got stevia instead of sucralose. Sucralose is bad. Most supplements contain sucralose. If you see that, um, my personal recommendation is stay away. I didn't have any problems for a few years, but now I do. Um, some people it doesn't bother them, but it doesn't mean it isn't hurt. It doesn't bother me that much, but however, I still it's, want to get better at doing bad what he does. Sucralose is chemically mass produced, man made, all that stuff. Stevia yeah. is a natural leaf. Um, that's why it costs a little more. So it's sweetened with stevia, and it's got uh, sunflower lecithin in it instead of soy. Soy is also chemically mass produced. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so I do have to pay a little more for this, but I don't rely on this. You know, most of my protein comes from my food. So, yeah. Anybody that pushes protein powder like crazy is probably in it for the money. So the last one is Carbogain. Basically what that is, powdered corn. That's my carb supplement, just a little extra. Like I said before, get it from your foods first. If you need a little extra, that's where that comes from, 63 grams. Um, per serving on that. Um, That's pretty much. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions or detailed, need details more on this stuff. On even if it's just one thing in particular, yeah. we could. If you want to know where yeah. this stuff came from, or what it costs, or if we've taken anything else, or anything like that, yeah. um, feel free to shoot us a message. Yep. Anywhere, I guess. However, you can get a hold of us, and we'll get back to you. If you want to know more yeah um, seems to be working out well for yeah. me but someday I would like to get so. better to be in all natural stuff like what he does basically right now the most natural thing that I take is the greens, the greens and the apple cider vinegar yeah. and to me it, it works wonders because I feel more awake and I perform better in the gym yeah, we thus meaning that. better gains in the gym too from yeah so we'll have a separate video on those from better things, workouts because that's kind of like our our top favorites. Um, so, the, the the cleaner we're getting, the better results we're getting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, we'll, we're gonna move on. Um, oh, before I wrap this up, before you worry about any supplements, make sure your nutrition is in check as far as your food. Yeah. Food comes first. That's where you get your biggest results. This um, is just a bump to yeah. help you out. It's it just fills in the little gaps here and there. If you just rely on this and you still eat shitty or you still drink stuff you're not supposed to and you know it, then mm -hmm. you're probably not going to get the best results. Just saying. So there's no point in wasting your money if everything else is it's crap. It's not right. So, so get that taken care of first. I mean, that's cheaper anyways. Yeah. And then go through this. And this stuff doesn't cost a lot anyways, but get your food taken care of first. Whether you like it or not, that's where the results are going to come from. So we'll have another video on our foods and stuff like that, which we should have done swapped, but we'll get to it. Alrighty. So we're going to wrap this one up and uh, work on our next one. All right. So thank you. Catch you later, guys. Don't forget, hit us up.